So again, when assessing somebody's lower limbs, normally uh, the examination would start with inspection and the patient should be in their underwear. Uh, and when having done that, the next thing to do is again a general gross assessment of lower limb function by just asking the patient to take a few steps and assessing their gait. Good, and turn around and when they come back, you ask them to walk back heel to toe. Good. Okay, now I'll get Claire to take a step over here. Just standing there on the spot, first of all, close her eyes. We're looking for a ab abnormal proprioception and uh, swaying. Good, and then the next thing I'm going to do, with plenty of warning for Claire, is I'm just going to let her know that I'm going to pull back on her shoulders, and hopefully, good, she takes a step back, which is a normal reaction. People with Parkinson's disease, for example, won't be able to take that step back, and you'll have to really, really have to be ready to catch them. Uh, so having performed a, a very quick uh, general assessment of uh, lower limb neurology, we get the patient to uh, take his seat on the bed. So with the patient adequately positioned and adequately exposed, uh, we first of all test tone. Uh, again, done at the knees, uh, just by gently lifting the knee and watching the... Patients are again, carefully look for circulations. Oh, okay. Yep, yep. Start again? Yeah, sure. So now that we've got the patient adequately uh, exposed, we can again perform our inspection, looking for muscle bulk, fasciculations, again, uh, any surgical scars uh, that might be clues to underlying disease. Uh, and then very quickly moving on to an assessment of tone. Uh, we just hands under the knees and just very gently give the leg a quick lift and we should watch the heel slide along the bedside. Uh, an abnormally uh, or increased leg will the whole leg will come off the bed as I do that. Uh, assessing clonus is the next part of the tone response and with the patient's leg externally rotated and slightly bent, just a very quick pull on the heel and there's no response. An abnormal reflex will be multiple beating uh, of the foot. So having assessed tone, we now move on to power. Again, assessing all muscle groups. First thing we do is just ask the patient to lift their leg up in the air, hold it there against resistance Good, and then patient uh, puts their leg down on the bed, sorry, down, down on the bed, and I'll just slide my hand under here and push down against, against my resistance, assessing the extensor compartment of the leg. With the patient's uh, knee bent, we can ask the patient to kick their leg out, assessing power of the knee, and again, pulling their heel towards the buttocks. Good. Asking the patient to push out their hands against my knees, uh, against, push out their knees against my hands. And again, push in against my hands. Good. Assessing power at the ankle, ask the patient to bend their toes right back. Hold them there nice and strong. Good. Push down like you're pushing on the accelerator. Good. Uh, and again, assess left and compare to the, to the right side as well. Moving on to reflexes, the most important thing is to have the patient nice and relaxed. Just one hand, gently under the knee. It's important to make sure that there's no, uh, the patient's not stiff and nice and loose. Quickly palpate the uh, patella tendon and good, normal response. Assessing the ankle jerk. Sorry, oh, over my shoulders. Can we just do that knee one again? Yep. Is that right? How um, are you going to, can you see if I do that? Um, no, um, shall I move? I might move over there. Okay, so if I assess from here, is that better? Yeah, that'd be yeah. great. Uh, so the first of the three reflexes in the lower limb is the knee jerk, uh, and that's done by just gently placing one hand under the patient's knee, making sure the patient's nice and loose. Feel the tendon, and just a quick tap, you should be able to see contraction in the quadriceps muscle. The next reflex is the uh, ankle jerk, which is done in the, uh, the same position as for clonus. Stretch the tendon just with a little bit of pressure uh, under the ball of the foot and hit the uh, Achilles tendon. Good, foot normal. And then finally, the third reflex is the, uh, the Babinski re reflex or response. And that's done with the sharp end of the, uh, of the tendon hammer, just scraping up underneath the bottom of the foot and across the ball and the normal response is for the toes to curl over. Uh, an abnormal response is for the toes to pull back and splay. 
Assessing coordination is a bit easier in the lower limb. It's just done by asking the patient to lift their right, uh, right foot up to my hand. Good. Now place your heel onto your opposite knee. Good. And just like Claire's doing, nice and cooperatively, running the heel up and down the shin. And a nice smooth motion uh, indicates normal coordination. Good. Uh, and finally, the final part is sensation, which again is assessed uh, with, a, with a neuro tip. And again, for the glove, glove and stocking distribution, assess central and then peripherally feels the same. So there's no, uh, there's no peripheral neuropathy. And then uh, in each of the dermatomes, sharp everywhere. Sharp. Good, good, and it's important to do uh, underneath, underneath the leg as well. And finally, just as in the upper limb, finish off with vibration sense, which again with 128 uh, hertz uh, tuning fork, start with the bony prominence, feel the vibrating, yes. good, move to the, the ankle, good, and finally the tibial tuberosity, yes. good, and if needed, one on the hip as well. Uh, and that completes a perfectly normal neurological exam for Claire.